Studying while battling depression is one of the hardest things to do. It's difficult enough getting out of bed, but depression steals away your energy, motivation, and concentration. It's like having a cloudy memory and struggling to survive each and every day. How can you possibly get through school while dealing with depression? 1. Use a planner. Depression leads to disorganization and foggy memory. In school, it's critical to remember when you have assignments, presentations, and tests. Bring a planner with you to your classes and write down everything you need to remember so you won't forget anything or end up rushing an assignment last minute. 2. Study and do homework on time. Studying without motivation is hard, but by doing a little every day, you can lower your stress levels. There may be days when studying feels impossible, but if you studied a bit every day before that, it's okay to take a day off once in a while, when things get really rough. When you have depression, having some free time to rest is essential. 3. Space it out. Divide your study material into small chunks and review it continuously over long periods of time. This will increase your chances of learning the material. Additionally, review each lesson before starting a new one. 4. Don't pull all-nighters. By staying up all night, your depression will worsen and the symptoms will become more severe. Suicidal thoughts may also increase drastically. Instead, organize your schedule in a way where you're not staying up all night to complete your assignments. 5. Take breaks. Don't study or do homework for hours on end. Depression lowers your energy, and if you don't take breaks in between study sessions, you will burn out. The trick is to study for 30-minute intervals, with 10-minute breaks in between. Everyone's a little different though, so test out different time schedules to see what works best for you, and adjust the intervals accordingly. 6. Keep a binder or notebook. People with depression can have trouble staying organized. By buying binders or notebooks and using dividers, it's easy to separate your study materials. This will allow you to feel less overwhelmed. 7. Stay away from negative people. It's already hard enough to stay optimistic with depression, so surrounding yourself with pessimistic people won't help you. It'll bring you down and affect your school performance. Remember, you are studying so you can have a career you love, so spend time with people who support you and push you towards your goals when life gets hard. 8. Consume brain foods. Depression makes you crave junk food, and even though it's okay to treat yourself every now and then, don't make a habit out of it. Instead, stay away from sugars, stay hydrated, and eat nutritious food, which will increase your energy and improve your focus. 9. Find a study buddy. Figure out which one of your classmates is more responsible and stick to them. Create study groups where you can ask each other questions, but be careful of lazy students who may try to use you as their pessimistic nature will affect your mood. 10. Highlight. People with depression can easily feel overwhelmed, especially when they're taking a course with lots of material. When you feel stuck, buy different color highlighters to divide the material by main topic, subtopic, important information, etc. 11. Take care of yourself and find hobbies. If all you do is study, you'll feel more depressed, so don't forget to treat yourself. Take some time to pursue hobbies and practice self-care to improve your overall mood. Watch a movie or eat at your favorite restaurant. Have fun with friends, take a breather, and then you can continue studying. Society puts a lot of pressure on students, especially when it comes to their studies. Remember, your mental health comes first, and grades don't define you. Failing a course doesn't make you a failure. We're all human, so don't feel bad if you need to take a break to regain your mental health. How are your experiences with school? Do you have any other tips that may be helpful? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our website as well as our other social media, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching!